Welcome to Finance and Excel video number 93. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for chapter 10, click on the link directly below the video and scroll all the way down to the Finance Excel class section. Hey, we've been talking about period returns. We looked at period returns for a uh, stock. Uh, coupon bond, zero coupon bond, and now we want to look at for preferred stock. So here's our face value, 100 bucks. Remember, preferred stock is kind of half debt, half equity in concept, right? Because common stock uh, doesn't say exactly what its value is and doesn't state the dividend. Well, the preferred stock does. It says what the face value is and uh, what the stated dividend is. Now preferred stock still um, requires for this stated dividend that the dividend is declared by the board of directors, uh, but it's still an exact stated amount. So it seems sort of like half debt. It says what it's worth. It says what it's going to pay you, but because the board of directors still declares dividends, it is considered uh, pre called preferred stock. Hey, here's what we paid one year ago and here's what it's selling for right now 96 so we want to calculate the returns remember all these videos about period or holding returns it doesn't matter if you sell a time right now or not we still need to calculate the return in uh, many cases so first thing is just calculate your uh, dividend it says in the contract hey take that face value times that percent boom, there's the dividend you're going to get. So just as we've done a few times already in this chapter, big, uh, we take the end total amount, which would be uh, this amount plus this, that's all the cash at um, time one, and compare it to this uh, begin amount at time zero. So I'm going to use the sum function this time. I'm going to say these two, end stock value plus the dividend paid at the end, divided by begin. So that's really end divided by begin minus 1. And as we've mentioned before, this formula is sucking the formatting from there. So we use control shift tilde. Control plus shift plus tilde. And that gets us back to a general number formatting. All right, so that's the nominal return or period return or holding return. All right. We'll see you next video.